We're back here for you on live now from Fox. Viewer discretion is advised here as we are taking a look here of a person scaling uh, the Chase Tower in downtown Phoenix right now. And uh, this is all happening live right there. Bottom right, you can see there. And uh, you can see almost looks like that person was actually trying to wave there to uh, Sky Fox there just moments ago as they are wedged between the two sides there of that building. This is a 40 floor uh, building here in downtown Phoenix. It's about uh, 483 feet, largest building in downtown Phoenix. And as Sky Fox is able to pull away there, you can see the height of that building right now and uh, you do have law enforcement there that, that are on the roof and they are continuing to really uh follow this right now but they're at there at this point there's really not too much that they can do at this moment but just try to plead with the individual and try to uh, have them securely go down or try to go up there. But a very tense situation here as uh, this person has their feet and uh, arms wedged there and they continue uh, right now to go up there. As you can see, nothing else holding this person up there but their own feet and arms so a very uh, tense situation going on right now and of course we always try to bring you the the live feeds that are happening all in real time again this is viewer discretion advised because this is uh, live raw and unfiltered right now you can see that uh, guy taking a uh, small break right here as it looks like when sky fox was able to pull out there for a little bit that the individual might have been maybe halfway up, so maybe uh, 20 more floors to go. And uh, right now, taking that break right there as uh, maybe, just maybe, the person may have bit off a little bit more than they could chew right now. And uh, taking a little breather right now. Again, this is Chase Tower in downtown Phoenix, 40 floors. Uh, it is about uh, just shy of 500 feet. And uh, right now, like I was talking about, about halfway up the building right now. We don't know why this individual is doing this, what kind of statement they are making, but obviously uh, putting their life at risk right now as, as nothing is holding uh, this person up right now except uh, the feet right now that is wedged and we do have another feed here uh, to us a little closer shot right now of uh, the guy and uh, you can see he was just checking his phone right there And really maybe just taking it all in right now, taking a breather on the arms and uh, trying to figure out what the next move is going to be. But you figure he's about 220 feet up right now. Just that's a rough estimate, just given that we, we, we looked and it looked about halfway up that, uh, that he was now might be taking a picture here. Not sure what he has. Maybe that's a, a GoPro that he is recording on. But very, very tense situation here. As uh, he is calm, though, you can see just casually checking his phone, looking at his phone and uh, puts it back in his pocket, waiting for the next move. Again, we'd like to reiterate though, viewer discretion is advised here as we just don't know what is going to happen next. This is live raw and unfiltered shot that we have here for you again in downtown Phoenix as if there isn't enough going on right now in Phoenix in the Glendale area Super Bowl is coming 
uh, this Sunday, and there is a lot of events in downtown Phoenix, and some sort of statement is trying to be made here by this individual using maybe Phoenix, uh, a lot of people, a lot of media already downtown right now, and uh, maybe wanting to try to catch a glimpse here. Still doesn't show any, um, doesn't have a banner. Sometimes you see these people scaling walls, they have a banner of some sort, does some sort of message at this point. Nothing like that here, but uh, again, this guy taking a break right now from scaling this tower here, Chase Tower in downtown yeah, I'm Phoenix. On right now. Pro -life Spider -Man. And now we are taking another look right here for you of Chase Tower. This is Sky Fox Aerials right now, just showing you just where this person is in uh, in reference to this tower right now. And we do have uh, some of uh, Fox 10 Phoenix, our uh, station there in Phoenix, reporting on this as well, obviously at the scene. I wanna show you that right here from a tweet from Fox 10's Marissa Sarbeck saying, we can see from the Zoom, the man climbing the old Chase Towers has uh, chalk on his hands and climbing shoes. Witnesses here tell me the man has been up for about an hour right now. So let's go back out uh, to that video of the guy uh, really just taking a breather here at Chase Tower, downtown Phoenix right now, and uh, now carefully trying to Ooh, ever so carefully wedge himself up this building here. What about, what about if we ran his Instagram video? And you can see here, it is a, a very, very scary moment right here as one little slip could end it all right now. And uh, we are hoping that this person will just get up there and then authorities can uh, put this person under arrest and try to get them uh, some help right now because very, very scary moments uh, taking place here as, uh, again, you, you can't put this lightly. It just takes one little slip and everything can go south, literally. Well, it's a, it's, he posted on his Instagram. You're watching worldwide here as always on Live Now from Fox as we are bringing you uh, these top stories and headlines. But of course, when we get breaking news feeds in, we bring it to you right here on Live Now from Fox as always. And there's a shot there on the roof there. We have uh, police, firefighters. Uh, they are on the scene right now waiting for this individual uh, to come up there. That is would be the best case scenario at this time for this person. But uh, you can see they are just waiting uh, patiently as well for this uh, guy to come up there. This is the Chase Tower in downtown Phoenix. Viewer discretion is advised right now as you are seeing uh, a real life uh, Spider-Man go up uh, Chase Tower right now, uh, 40 floors, and he is about halfway right there. And it looks like now uh, we have a, another shot here. This is from the perspective of the climber. Take a look, uh, really doing multiple things, not only climbing, but uh, also putting this out on social media. This is, uh, he is considering himself the pro-life Spider-Man saying, I am climbing the Chase Tower in Phoenix, Arizona. Please uh, go to that web uh, or to, uh, or handle to help hope choose life there. So interesting right there, taking all place in downtown Phoenix on the Super Bowl week right now. And uh, you could see that uh, person right now continuing to climb there, taking breaks. Uh, Fox 10 Phoenix's Marissa Sarbeck saying that he has chalk on his hands there to try to help with the grip right now. And uh, we are all watching this unfold live right here on Live Now from Fox, everyone. 
Bureau discretion continues uh, to be advised here. As you just don't know what is going to happen next. I got another view here for you of downtown Phoenix. And you can really just see the height there of that building from Sky Fox. And you can see just in relation to the other buildings, uh, tallest uh, tower in downtown as yeah, Sky Fox is uh, leaving the scene right there. We'll go back out to the uh, ground shot that we have zoomed up here for you right here on live now from Fox as uh, this individual continues to uh, continue uh, to uh, take a break here while climbing and uh, scaling Chase Tower, the tallest uh, building in downtown Phoenix. Of course, we always got you covered right here worldwide on live now from Fox as uh, we wait and see what the next move is going to be here. But continues to go up there. Very tense moments, as you can see here, as uh, this person continues to wedge themselves right in between the two sides there of the building and continues now to go up. It'll be interesting to see just how the firefighters uh, respond there and police when uh, the individual gets a little bit closer there. Will they yank him or will they uh, just wait until he gets to the very, very top? We will wait and see on that one. Look at that there. Oh, ah. Tense, 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 just right there, just a little wedge that is holding the feet up where he has planted himself. And we continue to wait. Another update uh, from Fox 10 Phoenix's Marissa Sarbach. Let's go to that right here, showing you Central Avenue is shut down between Adams and Mon Monroe as the man is scaling one of the buildings in downtown Phoenix. And uh, you can see there, well, let's go back out right now to uh, that individual guy who is right there, just taking a little break. We have another vantage point uh, from Marissa as well, as she is doing a good job at uh, tweeting out uh, what she can see from her perspective right now. And uh, let's go back out to Sky Fox as you're taking a look here at the tower in question, you do have a uh, police fire. They are on top of the building waiting for this guy uh, to come up there. As uh, this individual is calling himself pro-life Spider-Man and uh, trying to make a statement on abortion rights in this country. Should also be noted using this as the uh, tallest building in Phoenix as well as uh, Super Bowl week to try to get as much publicity as well you would uh, you would think. And now uh, you would say he is about three quarters of the way up there and uh, waiting for taking the, the breathers that needed to be as he continues to wait. And uh, we'll continue to wait it out for you right here on live now from Fox, everyone. What we are going to do is for some of you, take a quick two minute break. Stay right here with us on this very tense moment as we continue to watch this guy scale uh, the building of Chase Tower in downtown Phoenix.
And for those of you uh, with us right here on Live Now from Fox, I'm your host, Mike Page, as we continue to take in this breaking news from downtown Phoenix of a man scaling a uh, downtown skyscraper in Phoenix, the tallest one in the city. And right now, you can see the perspectives here. You have uh, on the right there, Sky Fox videos just showing you the height there of that building and uh, what is awaiting uh, this guy who is illegally uh, climbing this building right now. You have police, you have fire up on the roof now of this building. It has been going on for uh, more than an hour right now. And uh, he is about three quarters of the way up there. This uh, building is 40 uh, stories high. It ha it's almost 500 feet, just shy of that at 483 feet there. And we uh, continue to see this all play out in real time right here on Live Now from Fox. Viewer discretion is always highly advised for these because this video is raw and unfiltered. Um, we are getting it for you right there as uh, is, is coming in to our newsroom. As you can see, he is almost now at the top. Waiting it out just a little bit more. But a very, very tense, tense moment being played out in downtown Phoenix. And of course, we always bring in live coverage uh, when we get the breaking news shots available to us. We bring it to you all in real time right here. And you just never know what the next breaking news or top feed is going to be. And, and now you can see there from the perspective on your left, you have the guy there now talking to uh, uh, fire and uh, Phoenix police as well. Just a couple of more feet for him to go. As this guy did go up uh, 480 feet up in the air, scaling it, just using his arms and legs to wedge himself up there. And now at the top, as you can see right there, let's go to that shot here for you in full. Now the guy has made himself onto the roof here. Let's go to Sky Fox video. Now showing you of what will be the eventual arrest there of that uh, guy who just scaled it 483 feet from the sidewalk all the way up to the roof there. And now that is all wrapped up there. So that uh, individual will, will be arrested as it was a very tense moment being played out there live for you right here on Live Now from Fox. If we continue to get more updates on this, we'll bring it to you right here on Live Now from Fox. And uh, let's stay with this for just a little bit more because we do have uh, Fox 10 reporter Marissa Sarbuck uh, joining us here. She is calling in and she is with us now on Live Now from Fox. Marissa, thanks so much for uh, being here with us on Live Now. Tell us uh, what you are seeing from the ground level. Hey, yeah, so we're seeing a really good view just from the zoom on the camera. There's a lot of people around us and they've been filming since he's been up here. I spoke with some people about 10 minutes ago. They said he had been up there for about an hour. As you can see, he did make it to the top. Uh, the cell phone video that we were having go live and the cell phone video that we were zooming in on, we were having trouble seeing him just because it is so far away. But the zoom on the camera does give you a really good idea. And it's tough to see what's going on as of right now. I think we're trying to look for him and see where he is. It looked like SWAT or the fire department People were up there waiting for him, uh, but it's, again, hard to tell because it looks like he has kind of gone over the top of the building at this point. We probably got here about 30 minutes ago walking over from the convention center and just saw him as he was climbing. He was about halfway, probably at around 10.15 this morning. It's 10.47 here, Mountain Standard Time in Arizona. 
So a crazy scene down here. We're panning down just to show you what the street looks like as well. There have been people that have been all over. The crowd has certainly been growing. People watching what's going on. They've shut it down from on Central Ave from Adams to Monroe here. So they have fire trucks down as well as unmarked police cars as well as Phoenix Fire Department all waiting to see what happened with this. Again, as you can see, he was successful in his climb. He made it to the top of the old Chase Towers, scaling in between the building there. Yeah, uh, a very tense moment. We were we were playing this out uh, as soon as we got the feed, Marissa. And I mean, it was tense because, uh, like you saw when when they were when you were zooming in on him, I mean, uh, he was just wedged there with his uh, arms and hand uh, and legs. And you know, one one small little slip could have could have ended it all there. But let's just talk also about uh, using this uh, Super Bowl week maybe as a platform uh, of of some sort of protest. Yeah, it does seem like that. We were looking on his Instagram account, and that is a pro life Instagram account. I spoke with a couple people here on the ground that said there was actually a protest going on a couple blocks over, which we did not see, but they told me that it was a bunch of people for pro-life, a pro-life protest, and they thought that he was with that, which the name on his Instagram account, Pro-Life Spider-Man, would suggest that that would be accurate. Uh, as we could see from that video, because he was posting a, not a live stream, but he was posting videos on his Instagram as he was climbing, and we could see him through the zoom on the camera lens going up and stopping at points in the bricks in the building, and we could see him actually taking out his cell phone and filming. So then we were seeing it posted to the Instagram account right after that. And it looks like he's doing this as, you know, to be in conjunction with that pro-life group that is protesting uh, that we were hearing about just down the street. Yeah, absolutely there. So uh, we see now uh, from the Sky Fox vantage point there just how tall that building is, uh, nearly 500 feet there that that uh, guy uh, took more than an hour to do there. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, tense moments. We were watching it all play out live right here on Live Now from Fox. And uh, we know you'll have reports throughout the day on this, Marissa. But thank you so much for joining us here on Live Now and giving us uh, your thoughts as well as what you saw from the ground level. Yeah, thanks, Mike. We'll check back in later. Yes, no problem. Take care, Marissa.